Okay, for this video I'm going to show you how to add entourage into your renderings or elevations. So the first thing we're going to do, we'll open up Photoshop. And I've got a rendering here on the desktop. It is from the Revit sample file. So we've got that open. Now let's go find some entourage, some people for it. So we'll go on the web and we will look up Immediate Entourage, which is a great little site that has all these people and animals, plants, all kinds of stuff you can add in and they all are cut out from their backgrounds. So let's go find a person. Playing poker here. We'll just click him. Uh, we'll click him again to blow him up his full size. And then we go right click and save image as. We'll save him on the desktop here. Okay, and then we will open him up in Photoshop. Okay, now we can grab him with the move tool, the top tool here on the toolbar, and just drag him over to the name of the other file and drop him in. So let's put him on a concrete pad here. And we will go to Edit, Transform, and Scale. And if we hold down our shift key while we do this, it will scale him proportionally. So let's do that. And we'll just make him that big. To commit that scale, all you have to do is hit the enter key. Okay, and we will, let's make him a silhouette. So we'll go to adjustments brightness contrast, we will use legacy, turn its contrast and its brightness all the way to the left there, and we've just made him a silhouette. So let's go over to the layers panel here, select him, and we'll take his opacity down to about, let's do 75 or so. 74, good enough. Uh, then the next thing we're going to do is create a drop shadow for him. So if we select his layer, right click on it and duplicate layer, and we'll just call it shadow. Now we have that, we can grab our move tool and move it away. take the opacity of that down a little bit more. Let's do 50. Next, we will let's show our transform controls. And we can grab this little handle in the middle on top here hold down our control key and just lay them down. And then zoom in. If you hold down Alt and use the wheel, it'll let you zoom in. And we'll place it. There we go. Right underneath them. We'll get it the way we like it. We'll hit Enter. Control zero, it zooms us all the way back out. That looks pretty good. Okay, let's go back and I'll show you just a slightly different way to do the same thing. We'll do that with a tree. So let's go to plants, another tree. We'll put it there. Okay, we'll click on that, blow it up, save image as. 
another tree on the desktop works just fine. up in Photoshop. Okay. We will grab the move tool again and drag it over into our rendering. Let's just drop it somewhere. Okay, another way to turn that into a silhouette basically would be to go to image adjustments and levels. And you see the graph here, this is actually called a histogram. And Photoshop will give every pixel in here a lightness or darkness value from 0 to 255. And the graph is how often they appear. Uh, this little handle on the far left is the black point of the image. So this is the darkest black and how often it appears. Uh, if you want to move that all the way to the right, what that's going to do is just make everything in the image black. We'll say OK. Let's turn our opacity down over here in the layers panel. Maybe 80. If I can get it. There we go. Okay, and another way to make a drop shadow for this is we'll select the layer, which is layer 2, we'll go to effects and drop shadow. And it looks like everything is going almost horizontally here, so we'll change the angle just by dragging this. Let's go about there. Uh, the distance just shows how far away it is. We can change that later, so I'm not too worried about that spread will actually make it bigger. I'll move it away so you can see. The spread will make it bigger and fuzz it out a little. The size will actually blur it just a little bit more. And that's about good. And so, so we can lay this one down. We will right click on the drop shadow and go to create layer pops up a little this little box don't worry about it just hit OK this works then we'll select that drop shadow and use the same thing we will hold down control and just lay it down and then move it up by the tree drop the opacity just a little bit. And there we go.